Nico Alili kasama si Danica Jose. Danica, of course, former uh, star player in the UAP and a member of our national team. And that's why her thoughts are very, very valuable in this game because of the inside play of both squads. Yes, you know, we just want to point out two players who are really doing well the first half. We have Michael Cañete leading the team with six points and six rebounds. Whereas for the Blazers, we have Justin Gutang, who was really strong at the start of the first half. Um, he scored 11 points and four rebounds, which really dictated um, the pace of the game. For the halftime stats, we have four out of nine three-point field goals for the Blazers. So shots are really going in for them at the start. Pero for the Arellano Chiefs, they're making their free throws, which is very crucial for them. Kaya hindi nakakalayo masyado ang Blazers. They're making 10 out of 12 of their free throws. Although the the Blazers need to take care of the ball because at the, at the first half, they already have 13 turnovers. And kaya um, malaki ang crucial then for the Arellano Chiefs because they're really aggressive in smothering and containing their man for the Benil uh, CSP Blazers. And in terms of bench points, an edge there for for the Blazers as well. Looking at, taking a close look at the Arellano Chiefs, what adjustments do they need to make uh, at the start of the third quarter? For the Arellano Chiefs, they need to have a better shot selection in terms of um, executing their plays better. Um, they had good looks at the start of the first half, but it wasn't that consistent. Um, they had easy drop passes, the fast break from transition defense. That's the good, the good thing that's going well for them during the first half. Pero for the Blazers, Justin Gutang should really sustain his energy and intensity at the start of the first half. Ituloy-tuloy lang niya yun the second half. For sure, susunod na yung teammate niya, lalo na sa energy na pinakita niya noong first half. Uh, Prince Carlos and the Blazers led by as many as nine points. But as you pointed out earlier, their turnovers uh, allowed the Arellano Chiefs to stay close behind. Looking at our leading scorers, you highlighted Justin Gutang. Although all of his 11 points nangyari yan nung opening quarter. First quarter, yes. So talagang he has to be more aggressive this second half because he plays a significant role for the College of St. Benil Blazers. Especially we have Yankee Haruna who's helping him out. Carlos is making his shots as well. Actually, the missing link na lang for the Blazers is JJ Domingo. So we're expecting him to contribute as well for the second half. And it's Arellano Chiefs, the man, very balanced attack. And wala naman isang player na nangingi babaw uh, from everybody else. But that balanced attack has allowed them to stay within uh, striking distance.